Mm-hmm. Another memory. John. All the letters from Daddy. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, Musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. He's You're not nothing. wrong there. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Well, oh, sit on the box and look sad. Play my part. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. We weren't allowed to bring blasts into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. God. They put me on so many meds. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot. Jesus. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped, a little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Or maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz fuck you. Uh, Dormitory rules, residents must adhere to the assigned schedules at all times, and they're not permitted to loiter in a dormitory outside of designated free time. Glass and silverware are to remain in the canteen, do not bring any into the dormitory. Non resident guests are not permitted to the dormitory. Lights out occurs at 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Failure to adhere in any of these rules will result in disciplinary action. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Property of the orphanage. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? I kind of think you already know the answer to that question. Guess I missed a few days. Happiness is a choice you make every day. Oh, Shu Shu. How are you holding up, Shu? 
can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? Ooh, anger. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Uh, thank you, Belina. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! Mean. Free time, it is a prison. Mm-hmm. This place legit is a prison, honestly. I'm literally getting, like, Alice Madness Returns vibes from this place right now. Right, um, Foot Locker. Definitely looks it. Oh, hello. She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. Is here she is sensitive. What is that? What do you think it means? I wonder why she's never found a home before. She's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights. Right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something uh, broken. Wrong. With her. Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. 
better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Back to reality now. Hopefully. That was one hell of a fall, though, honestly. Thank you, Gabe. No, definitely look. Sorry. Hello. Hello as well, Harvey. Hope you're well, man. That's better. Oh, that sucks, man. You got a cold or something. Oh, that sucks. here no more ladder not that I'd be much good at climbing lines growing into lines just like Jed said I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Safety first. And the pickaxe. How long has this stuff been down here? But yeah, that cold should surely should soon pass, hopefully. Inducing that is. You got this, Al. Okay, that's something. So someone's angry or something. Oh, 
All right, boys, getting close. Jed. Hell divers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. God damn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. I wonder if that squeaky noise Fuck is coming this. from Move. Come on. the Clear game the tunnel. my house. Who's on radio? Jed. Fuck. Jed. Jed. Oh we got to move now. There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Maybe. There's the aura. Wonder what it could be. Some keys. Mom's necklace. Dad. Is this where Dad came to work? Dad! Come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! Jed abandoned John Jed. here. You gotta stop, man. Jed! Fuck you, Jed! Come back! It's over, Jen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No way. Jed, you bastard. <laughs> oh, I'm free at least. Jed felt bad. That's why he let them say, yeah, most probably, yeah. Only to later on turn on them. Dick move, honestly. Yeah, really, really is, Luke, really is. Um, turned out John Chen, um, Alex's biological dad was working did work in this mine and Jed left him for dead down there she found um his mum's necklace which which he had buried into the rubble so he was down there working but when the explosion went off originally yeah and during my time here I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. 
These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Before you could get rid of me, Jed. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Jed happened. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex. Oh, What's don't going on? play that with me. You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. I don't think anyone's going to believe them. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. Everyone at that company is scared to death. All they do is protect themselves. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. Yeah, I took the anger. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. I know, I was caught on what you meant there, yeah. Should have intervened or saying, yeah. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was... Obviously, a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can Don't only imagine me. how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem mm -hmm. less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? 
Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? Oh, no. No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. Oh, shut up. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. This is an act. You're lying. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I hope not, Luke. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I'm waiting for a but. No, no, no. That's okay. We're good. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Come on, Pike. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. I don't know. Alex, sweetheart. You know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But struggling alone... No. You shouldn't have to go through that. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Take care, Harley. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you get over your cold. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. Wow. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Pike. A USB stick full of recordings. Yes. Thank you, Pike. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know. Don't how you... test me, Jason. No, no, Pike, go on, go on. Like. I'm not scared of you anymore. Yeah, not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell, I do. Jason, well, given that your judgment in this matter is. Emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself. Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up with it, I think you better call the people I don't shoot you up. It concerns me that a voting member of this council has openly admitted to a person. Oh, this is a load of bullshit. <laughs> I don't believe this. Getting ridiculous. We're all getting ahead of ourselves. And what's the important matter? I'm not you believe me, right? Yeah, I can't wait to be. Ryan? The difference between right and wrong. Why are you doing this? Oops. 
seen what I'm capable of. My dad of. is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. Oh. Let's get on here. Bruh. My keyboard's a weird rainbow color right now. All the mixed I know emotions. Why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. You know, when we were kids, we goofed around to escape. To pretend everything was better for a little while. When I got to Haven, the first thing we did was dance around like total dorks. And it wasn't an escape from anything. He was happy for the first time in his life. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Gotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. 
few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to Typhon. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. When it really mattered who you were and what you stood for, you let Typhon decide for you. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Thank you.